Hi, here's Chris with a new quick tip video for Blender. Today I show you how to create double-sided materials. I have an object here that has a front side and a back side. The front side and the back side are two textures. And the object is completely flat. So let's see how this works. Okay, we are starting with a very simple scene. I've added a plane here into the scene. And uh, this plane needs some material, so I have opened the shader editor here. A second window, this is a 3D view, this is a shader editor view. And in the shader editor, after you have selected your object, you can add a new material to it. It's here, the button at the top, so we click on New and a new material will be created, automatically assigned to this object, and now we can give it a name. In this case, we say it's Front Back. Of course, you can use any name for your material as you like. So great. What we are missing now is our texture, because we want to have a texture on the front side of our object here on the face and on the back side. Okay, so first we add a texture to our scene. To do to add a texture in Blender 2.8, it's very easy. You click here on the shader and press on Control T, and automatically there will be three new nodes added. This function here with this shortcut for this function is uh, uh, possible because the Node Wrangler add-on is uh, installed and activated in the new version. So you have the possibility to, to use the shortcut Control T and the new object will be added here. So great, before I continue, I start my shortcut tool here to show you what I'm doing. So I've pressed Ctrl T and this three nodes are added now. So what we have here, we have a texture uh, image node. This uh, node deliver us or give us the texture. We can open a texture outside. Then we have a mapping node. This is our, our texture mapping mode. We can control our texture mapping here. We can uh, change the location. We can change the rotation, the scaling and so on. And we have different texture uh, modes here. So we don't change anything, we let it like this and look for the next uh, node. The next node is a texture coordinate node. Um, this is the information for projecting the textures. So you have a different, uh, you have different modes here to choose from and we use the UV mapping here and use this, uh, what is, uh, yeah, used by default for our object. So let's look what we are doing now. So first we open the image. So I do it here uh, to o, go to open, Chris textures, and I go to front side here, open it, and we see nothing because we are in the wrong mode here. In the shading mode, we have to go to the um, look dev mode, for example, or to EV if you are EV using, so we can use it here, um, or you are changing to cycles, it works the same. Okay, we are here in Eevee and we can see now um, in real time our texture. It's projected here. Very nice. Good. So what we are missing? We are missing the back side. As you can see, the texture is displayed on both sides. Here it's mirrored because yeah, we are looking through the object. So what we have to do to see it on the back side? It's very easy. You need another node and this node is called, let's see, add search geometry. So the geometry node delivers us some information about the geometry where the material is assigned. So here we see we have a position, normal and so on, and we have a back facing slot. Here we see it, back facing. It's black because it has black and white information. And what we now need is we have to tell the material um, where is the front side and which material have to be used for the back side. Okay, so what we do now is we take this image and make a duplication. So we have two texture nodes and the second texture will get our back side image. So I open it and here it is. So when I plug it into the back color uh, in the 
the base color so we see only the back side. That's not what we are looking for. We want to see both. So we have to mix them first. To mix uh, the, both the images, we go and press Shift A, search for the mix node. And there are two mix nodes here, the mix shader. It's not the one we are looking for this time. We are looking for mix RGB. And now I click mix RGB and we have this node. And after you have pressed here and moved it over the line here, then it will be automatically connected into this. So this is the color one, this is the front side. And this one, the color two, is now our back side. Because the factor is mixing both sides, 50%, we see both textures. Here you see a little bit of the front side texture and some of the some parts of the back side texture. So when I move it back and and forward and forward, you can switch between them. Okay. So well, to so you see we are using the factor to switch between the both sides. So now we go to geometry and move this here to back facing. And now what happened? We see the front side here and when I turn it, we see the back side on this side. But there is a small other problem because the projection is projecting the texture here from the front. The same UV coordinates will be used here for the back side. So we have to change this here to see the right position of our backside texture, the right uh, projection. So how to do this? We are copying the mapping node here. And we uh, are copying this or duplicating it, not just by clicking or, or pressing Shift D. We are pressing Control Shift D. In this case, the following is happening. You see, the connection behind this node, all the connections will stay and we can now connect the vector here to the back to the backside texture. So what is happening at the moment? Nothing uh, special because both mapping textures have the same information. So you have now two ways to change here the mapping. The first one, and maybe not the one you are looking for or you thought, is scaling. So you could scale the texture in the X axis let's say on minus one. In this case, we are flipping the projection as you see, and we see the backside. This could work, it's not bad, but maybe it's much more logical to you to rotate the x-axis, so this, um, the, the upside axis. So we do it here, 180, and it will, not, it will now rotate, and we see a more logic way 180 degrees is rotated and we see now the projection rotates the backside texture, this one, around of a 180 degree and now we have both here and we have an object with a front side and a back side. Of course you can do the same with different other options like you could mix two materials and you could use a front side material and a backside material, let's say the front side has this texture and the backside is transparent. This is possible too. No problem, you just mix not the RGB information, you are mixing materials. So I will show it to you maybe. Now um, let's say you want to have the backside transparent. So let's see, we add a new texture and Shift A, search for transparency. This is here, the transparent node, and we plug the transparent node here, and we see our object is now invisible. So that's not what we are looking for. We are looking for something invi uh, invisible or transparent. To see it in EV, you go here on this material and say it's additive. And now the texture is transparent, you see? Here in the material options, it's just material here, the front back, you have to go to settings and blend mode, that's the mode for the transparent textures and transparent information, have to be from opaque to additive. For example, you have different other modes, you can ch choose between them. The most uh, expensive in calculation is alpha blend, and I'm using the additive here, for example. 
So now we have to mix this both here. And to do this, we add a mixer again, this time mix shader, and I click on this connection and I plug this here into the transparency is here and this one is here. So we had the front side here and voila, the back side here, but this is not right. So we have what we have to do again, we take the geometry here and plug it here into the factor. And now we see it works, but back side is seen. This is not a problem, it's just here because this both are um, have to be changed, the, the, the order. So I move this one up and it will be automatically changed. And we see now the front side because this material is going into the first shader. It's here. And the second shader is our transparency. And we see now in EV a transparent object. The back side is transparent and the front side is not transparent. It has some texture. In this case, this one. Of course, there is some more, but we see this one is the front side. So we see the front side. I hope you liked my small tip and subscribe my YouTube channel or visit my Gumroad shop to support me for creating more videos in the future. See you next time. Thank you. Bye bye. <music>